Hey, what's up, YouTube? Um, this is the Reluctant Navi back again um, with another video. So, um, uh, to my brothers, what's up? Uh, to my friends out in California, ni hao ma, uh, ni hao, and and um, wo hong hao. Um, in case y'all want to know, uh, and shisha. All right. Uh, to my Brazilian peeps, uh, oi, to the bin, um, it's the bin, all right, and to my, uh, peeps speaking Igbo, um, Kedu, um, I got one brother that replied back, Kedu, dude, what's up, all right, French, bonjour, mes amis, and to my peeps still out in Deutschland, um, was is los? All right, so uh, good nabin, vas is los. Um, anyway, so let's get started. This is why black American women don't make good wives. All right, one, they forgot their purpose. A, a wife's purpose is to bring fo focus to a man that builds, but they've been sleeping with thugs and stuff like this. The other thing that they forgot is the man rules over his wife. In in the Bible, it says rule over. So most black women think they're Christians and think they're Bible believers. But when you tell them that, they don't want to believe that, right? So that's what makes them not good wives. And black men shouldn't mess with them, shouldn't choose them at all. All right. I'm going to give you two things. I uh, was talking to uh, a sister. We got into a conversation finally on the phone. And basically, she was telling me, yeah, like us... To me, because she considers me a good man. Man, she's like us good men. We're hard to find, and I and I told her, no, we're not. And and then she proceeded to argue with me, because as you know, as a black man, it's hard to tell a woman something. But she tried to listen for a little bit. Um, when I said this, you know what I'm gonna tell you. And then she thought about it for a minute, and this is what I had to tell her. I gave her my number four months ago. In that time, to the time we got into that conversation, come to find out that she done been run through by a whole bunch of bad guys, right? Now, she now she considers me a good guy, but she didn't. She never called me when I gave her the number, right? And now, I don't want to deal with her now. It's because in that time span, um, she she had enough time to deal with all of really poop dudes and now she want to talk about her issues to me but unlike simps i don't play that and you just can't keep crying on my shoulder I, I don't have time for that if you're not dealing with me then i'm not dealing with you period only time i'm supposed to deal with a woman's mess is if that's my woman all right so that's one the other instance is um another woman that um wanted to meet me we were trying to figure out when we was going to hook up when nobody's um doing any work or she's not working and stuff like that just to um talk you know we was going to just you know have a little sit down and talk right and so we were supposed to talk after she got off off of work and stuff like that that never happened so she called me and she said hey why don't you meet me for lunch right and um not for lunch but she said why don't you meet me when i go on lunch then we could talk sit down and talk and so we're trying to get to know each other outside um the phone stuff and um so i go to meet her i pick her up at her apartment now i'm coming around in a running vehicle i park so that she could get in and she expect me to put um to um stop the car get out walk to the other side and open the door for her all right then um when we got to the place she expected me to get out and open the door for her again now on the way into um kfc uh and how did we, how we ended up at kfc i thought we was going somewhere to talk right but no she's like i haven't had lunch where would you like to go um, you know where you like would like to go, and so we, I said, "Well, KFC is right here. We can just go there, sit and talk and eat, right?" And so basically, apparently, this was supposed to be some kind of mini date, all right? But see how I got trapped into this, right? Now, what happened is we go there, and my mind was just to leave, but since we had driven somewhere, I was like, "Well, I can handle this," right? And so we talked for a while. 
and got her mentality which was all effed up some of the stuff she was saying that she was looking that a man should be this that and the other for her all right and i was like that's bull it's all about what you can be for me and she was and there was things that i do she was asking me to help her do this that and the other but you're not my woman and you trying to tell me what i need to be as your man and you see i got my life straight and i got stuff going on and you want that you see what i'm saying but you want me to now make you in charge of my stuff or um and as we was going out the door i want y'all to understand what was going on she thought she was a queen and as a queen i'm not a king even though she might call me a king in name, but she thinks a king is supposed to open her doors for her, do what she want. Um, if I invite her into my life, then now she can make decisions about stuff that I'm doing in my life since it's, since I'm successful at what I'm doing. Right. She's full of bull. Right. So this this flies in the head of the short um, men shortage of good men argument these women don't want to build all right they're, they're too volatile um statistically if you marry a black woman she'll divorce you within five to ten years i mean well no it's three to five years um you'll end up in divorce and let's take it out to 10 70 percent of the times legally separated all right then you'll end up at least without a woman 80% of the times, which means that to, uh, if you get into a relationship where you marry a black woman, you only have a 20% chance of a successful relationship. However, if you get with any other woman outside the United States that's black or whatever, and you marry her, like from Brazil, get a black woman from Brazil, one from um, Colombia, Costa Rica, wherever, you go anywhere outside the United States, and I know some bl black women will say, then leave. But you know what? F you. We are leaving. You know? And so, basically, they're destructive in their thought. And they are unrepentant. Anyone outside the country, if you get with them, you have an 80% success rate. That means a 20% failure rate. It's flipped. All right? And the problem is, black women are evil. The evil ones are evil. And they're unrepentant in general and destructive and there are some that are willing to look at videos like mine and get a clue because it's a mirror up to the black woman's face all right when they say shortage of men argument that don't work any either because yes there is a shortage for black women but that means that there should not be a single good black man in the united states right but what we find is there's not a single thug black man they're, they're, and they have multiple women but the men that um are single and that's it f it will get wise from elsewhere they are this um the hard-working smart educated spiritual men that have the ability pr to protect and provide for a home and some of the time protection is not living in the hood or in drug in infested areas all right so um, pay attention um, and, and that, that goes to the thug lug argument, which we're going to deal with in this video. So I got four other um, video clips. Here's the first one. So hey, watch this all the way through if you can watch it all the way through. This is black women telling black women they full of SH. Oh, and they will tell they will tell him that. But you would the first one you'll notice something, and then the second one you'll hear how black women think from out of their own mouths, and how they have no shame and are proud of um, screwing thugs. All right, so let's get started. Yes. The ladies will kick it, the rhyme, it is wicked. Now it's time to rhyme. Can you relate to it? Why music? Because I love hip hop and I think it's gonna change the face of America. Cool as I wanna be, New York City. You snuck in here? You remember me, don't you? I was hoping to speak with you about the position that we discussed. I'm sorry, sweetheart. Oh, remember me now? Get this crazy bitch out of here! Unreasonable bitch! Hey, yo, this unreasonable. I'm Barry for Ray. You heard about that too? WPPS will play no rap, period. 
arm is a hired gun, a black messiah son with the vision and precision. I'm a producer. You a what? I'm a DJ and a producer. I, I want to make a record with you. We're not getting in no studio together, man. If Parade don't get paid, the song don't get played. I said, the bridge is over. The bridge is Keep over. doing what you're doing. This business rewards hustle. You ain't hustling. Are you ever going to stop hitting on me? Why did you lie to me? Because I couldn't tell you, David. You think I want to hear that noise when I get in from work? This is real, Dad. I'm trying to finish the album here. Finish it when I'm at work. You designed the soundtrack for New York. My audience is not interested in the noise you call hip hop. They don't care about your opinion. They don't care about your passion. The bottom line. We're gonna do this. No questions. Will it sell? I hope so. Hope don't sell records, Miss Jones. It's a job, not a hookup. Let's go. I'm surrounded by darkness, surrounded by thoughtless. Yo, that's ill! Okay, understand that. For y'all, for those of y'all who followed hip hop from its inception to now, hip hop should have stayed underground. All right, but this black woman in here shows us how we, as black men, lose everything. All right, we don't need to trust any black woman that is with a white man. Now that don't mean be mean to them. I'm saying if we're trying to build anything with black people, then white people should not be in what black people are trying to build for themselves. Meaning that if a black woman is with a white man, then she belongs to that white man. Period. All right. Now, for the black women looking for husbands out of black men, you're losing out because of what I said before the, um, the video, right? Um, and you're losing out and we're losing out as a community is because you've decided to do this by yourself and with thugs. And then you want to have the thugs pay for stuff. But listen to this, right? This is going to run a little long, right? It says my people use exert pressure over them and women rule over them. Remember? So youth are our oppressors. And women rule over them. Oh, my people, your leaders, that means the black women and these um, fake preacher pimp pastors lead you astray and swallow the way of your path. Okay, so basically it says, um, if you read the King James, it's Isaiah 3 and 12. It says, oh, my people. Um, children are your oppressor and women rule over them. They just, oh, my people, um, your leaders um, destroy the way to, um, they which lead you. It says, oh, my people, they which lead you um, cause you to go astray and destroy the ways of your path. That's what it says in the King James. I use this one is because if you know this, it keeps the name of. The Almighty intact in Hebrew. And it keeps the phonetic names and everything. So when you look at the scriptures that I put up, um, look at them closely and you'll see when you look at the name, you will see what the people were really called back in the day. All right. Which is why you can't get Jesus from anything from the Bibles that you read in modern day. Right. Hey, right, and then let's go three and sixteen. And Yahweh says, because the daughters of Zion, which we now spell with a um, Z, but that um, um, that's said, said with the with the T, um, and it's it's how you say the Z in Hebrew, but um, Zion are haughty, 
and walk with outstretched necks and seductive eye walking and mincing as they go making a jingling with their feet all right meaning they're stuck up all right you can't tell them anything that's what haughty means it means you're stuck up you can't tell them anything they won't listen um and they mumble back to you talk back to you um as they walk they'll talk back to you and mumble mincing and um and so and basically you just hear them stepping off right and the almighty and then with the wave therefore <laughs> yahweh shall smite thee with a scab the crown of the head of the daughters of zion and yahweh um is um exposed their nakedness and yahweh exposed their nakedness now understand this people understand this that yahweh ain't playing and a lot of us for all you women complaining about why all these men making these videos and stuff like that uh, they need to uplift us no you don't need to be uplifted you need to be crushed under all right when black men in the 80s were trying to uplift you, uplift you telling, um, liking your natural self, you kicked them to the curb and um, became more like white women. While white women kept be, tried to become more like black women. You took on the most evil ways of white women. And I noticed black women do this. When they want to be like something, they be like the worst of what what they're trying to be like a um, black woman trying to be like a dude they don't try to be like a working man and wear a three-piece suit they probably try to be like a thug sagging and everything period they try to be like a thug when i look at black women dykes look at the difference between a white dyke and a black woman dyke right or um they look like sagging thugs the black ones do the white women that are into that lifestyle um they just they wear a pantsuit i mean i don't watch ellen but i know enough of her to know she wear a pantsuit she don't want running around sagging you see what i mean um something is wrong with the minds and mentality of black women so for you black women um watching this I am putting all this out for you. You can change or not, but I will not lift up evil. So for if you think I'm gonna just come, I'm coming here to lift you up. I'm here to try to get you to see your um, see your face in the mirror so that you may change. Um, I'm not lifting this mess up. I'm exposing you for who you are, like the Almighty has me to do. So let's continue. Oh, that's a turn on. Let me tell you, because I have my share of bad boys, all right? Uptown, I have my share. They sexy, that's why. They better than the quiet one. They more, they more, what, more experience, more fun, you know what I'm saying? And much, much more aggressive. So, yeah, yes, I love me aggressive. And we like, women like men that can take care of them. Basically, just show them that, you know, they got them and, you um, hair in the bedroom. And I ain't say all that. roses on the bed. <laughs> I want you to put on that rough rider and get it popping, all right? <laughs> Hi, Ma. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Do you believe that women prefer bad boys over the good guys? Like the good guys finish last. Women are always going for the bad boys. Are you attracted to the bad boy? No, they don't like me. <laughs> No, bad boys like them though. Cause they don't have any kind of I keep trying, but they just be like, no thanks, yeah. no thanks. Well, I have a problem. But I know. Yeah, I, I need I have that. A problem. I know myself. I need that because I need somebody who. I mean, I can't feel safe with you know like Jerry. Right, that's the you know, like right. the whole thing. Like, I can't feel Dexter. safe with somebody who right Dexter. Like I need somebody <laughs> I know can protect me. Right. 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 Is kind of like an instinctual thing. Is the way you want to feel protected in a man's presence, and the bad boys they give you that. You know they give off that. Is that why the good guys are the friends? Like the good guys. Like really, I mean, you know what? He did this to be a kid. I'm just so pissed. And the good dude is is just the friend. Is it? 
I'm not even gonna say that. How bad is this? Look, I'm not even gonna say that. This dude is good to you because he is your friend. But I mean, trust me, it's some woman who can tell you about how he's not too right. good either. Right. I'll so, and I don't, I, I just, me personally, bad boys, as long as they're not too bad, I like the educated man. You gotta have that balance, so that's the thing. Like, that's as I get older, I realize like you can't be a thug on your life, you can't rob banks and provide me. <laughs> All right, so that that's what that's why I said black hoes being honest, right? The bad, the bad boys call these women whores and hoes right protect it most of these women will die at the hand of the bad boy or die because of the bad boy right and so these are all the myths about bad boys um i'm gonna start putting up because of this i am going to start putting up all the reports i've run across where black women were just dying because bad boys were coming and killing their babies they were killing their babies they were killing them they were stabbing them right and so with all this bs and stuff like that uh you're going to see you're going to see a whole lot more videos coming out exposing this kind of thought that black women have and i'm gonna keep on doing it until they start getting the picture that bad boys don't protect you that's why you're living in the hood all right that's why you're living around gunfire because you can't move out because you don't have a man worth crap and them bad boys ain't trying to be worth crap is because they got you they got all the trim they want because black women are stupid and bad boys know this. All right. Basically, why are we saying all there are a few black women, good black women out there, but most of my messages are not targeted at them. It's targeted at Zion, who's acting a plum fool, the daughters of Zion, who's acting a plum fool. But anyway, let's continue. Black women, this is how black men see you now. But this is how all men see you now. You have an image and behavior issue. So don't get it twisted. You have an image and behavior issue. You really do. Um, I saw your video, and this is a question that often comes to mind for me as well. And, um, of course, I barely, you know, touched on one of these topics, on this topic in one of my videos. And, um, see, there is this thing about some women who believe that, um, when you have a uh, have a man's baby that that he will just automatically kind of uh you he'll be around more often and women believe they can change the way a man um lives if they have a baby they feel like men automatically become more compassionate and more loving and caring and want to be around and there are those men that that are like that and women get it twisted because they believe that all men are like that but what they don't understand are, are the Pookies and the Tyrones and the, you know, that they're going to be them no matter what. And all you're doing is raising another thug if you keep chasing a thug that doesn't want you, have that doesn't want anything to do with you or your baby. And you're going to raise your baby around that. And your baby's going to see what a real man is or what a real man does, which couldn't be further from the truth, you know. So, um, there are all those women, and then there are all those women, the welfare baby women, who see babies as, like, cash cows. You would cringe if you knew how many women actually did that type of shit. Um, there are women, like, right now I'm, I'm in New York, uh, not for long, though, I'm going to Illinois soon. Um, there are women who will have a baby by a man who she believes may stick around because of the baby and once he leaves she doesn't give a fuck really because not only can she get like half of his shit or get some kind of like uh like a child support but she can also get money from the state she can get WIC 
um, welfare goes up um, if she needs a bigger place then the government will assist her in getting a bigger place for you know very very cheap and these women see these these things as like opportunities like I don't know what kind of opportunity but they were raised into this kind of uh, environment already because you would never see some woman from the suburbs living in a two-story house with four room, four bedrooms. You would never see that woman try to try to go out, find a thug, and have a baby with him so that you know she could get welfare and Section Eight and WIC. And you would never see it because these women who are um, attracted to the thugs, they already know what the deal is. So they're like, okay, so if you're not gonna play my game, you know, I'm gonna force you to play, you know, a harder game, a game that you cannot win. Um, again, um, it also has a lot to do with the media because, of course, with the rappers and the, and, 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 uh, the entertainers that we see on television or the characters that these black men portray in movies that you see on, say, BET or, you know, whatever, it, it makes, it glorifies this man, you know what I mean? And that's Liz Boy 12. She's on YouTube, y'all. Go go to her channel, check out some of her videos. She hasn't done anything since two um, 2011, 2012, I believe. But um check her out. Alright. Um and um you know, see see some of the other things she has she has to talk about. Pretty interesting coming from um this woman. Um, like I told you before, I'm letting the women tell it. All right. And this is an example of what um, Liz Boyd 12 was talking about. Um, she's on YouTube. She hasn't done anything like since 2011. All right. But um, she has a couple of the videos up there. So um, go peep her out real quick. All right. Her name is Liz Boy 12. All right. Um, but this is an example of what she's talking about. So all these black women sleep with all these um, children, make monsters like this. And then at 40 and 50, when they're out of shape and stuff like that, they want to they wanna now marry a good man. If you go on any dating site, most of the women at 40, 50, um, 30, 40, and 50, they're looking to marry somebody, but they have children or have raised children. Hold on. And here's another thing. And most of them or a lot of them won't be able to give, give that man that she marries a child. So why should a man marry her if he can't build a family? Period. If, if I can't build a family, why should I marry you? All right. But that's what black women are looking for now. All right, they're looking for another man to raise another man's child or, or financial stability from another man or a companionship for another, from another man that she's going to look down on as her servant. You see what I'm saying? So there is no incentive for a black man to marry a black woman because she has lost her cotton picking mind. he's always the sweet guy you want to talk to and run to if you have an issue um, just the sweetest guy very considerate you know that you would think women would like um, so he asked me why does he have such a hard time getting women and getting um, in relationships if he's such a nice guy he treats them so nicely he's respectful he's considerate he does everything he thinks he's supposed to do to get women to like him and want to be with him and take him seriously this is what I think Nice guys, when it comes to relationships, finish last. Don't let any other woman tell you something else. Nice guys in relationships finish last. You want to be the shoulder to cry on, the person that they run to or whatever, the teddy bear? Nobody wants to fuck a teddy bear. They don't. I mean, you hear a woman cry and complain, oh, my boyfriend treated me so bad. Oh, how could he do this to me? Oh, he's with that other girl. Oh, I hate his shit. And they complain and bitch and moan. But who are they going to bed with at night? The same bad guy, right? Are they going to bed with you? The guy that, you know, call, they, they can call and say, oh, he treated me so badly. Oh, could you, could you come over and talk to me? You're not getting the ass. You are not getting the drawers. 
You basically become the, the girlfriend to her. You know, who the hell wants that shit? If you want to get the draws, especially at a young age, you got to learn to be to not be the nice guy. I'm not saying be a complete dick and, you know, treat women badly and rough or whatever, but be more on that side than being the nice shoulder to cry on. You never get any ass that way at a young age. The only time that that works out for you is when the women get older, they done been ran through, Guys have treated them poorly or whatever, and it's, they start to appreciate nicer guys. They start to say, okay, you know, oh, I don't want that again. Oh, I remember how he made me cry and this and that. Sometimes, even, even still when they get old, they still like that abusive shit. So, at least when you're younger, be on that more of that side. The nice guy is not going to get you anywhere with the majority of women. Now, you do have some women who like nice guys. You know, and it, you, know, you do have some women, but most women do not appreciate that shit. It's the honest truth. I know women are going to say, no, you know, you're the kind of woman who make us all look bad, and that's why the guys, no, no, just look around. A lot of the, the nicest, sweetest girls are with the not so good guys. They like that hard shit, they like that. They don't like the nice guy, you know, that, that holds their hand. And let's go drink some coffee and talk about this. And, oh, did you read that book? No, you're not getting all ass like that. I'm just keeping it real. One, any kind of woman, any race of woman around the world, they'd like more of the bad guys to give the ass to. You know what I'm saying? When they get older, they might learn their lesson. But when it's time to be sexually attractive, and if you want a piece, if that's your goal, you just want to get some ass, then I suggest not being the teddy bear. Like I said before, nobody wants to fuck the damn teddy bear. All right. Um, this is S Quasi forty five, and found her on YouTube too. So it, it's kind of nice to have the women say what I've been saying. Have these girls speak to you? Because the truth is the truth. All right. But black women don't want to hear it from the brothers. So I, I put a bunch of women in here so that they can tell you. All right. And where did them girls learn it from? The whorish mothers. That's where these girls are learning to go after thugs from. Their whorish mothers. So that they could be run through by the time they decide they want to find somebody to settle down with. Now, like I told you at the beginning, that black women, you are going to have a world of hurt coming in on you because you think you're going to be able to run to the white men and with these kind of successful operations done by white men, they're not going to have any need for you, period. They don't, they don't want that attitude. Right. And especially when you're all out of shape and they've created this woman from out of a black man to look the way he do. All right. Now, for the time being, I believe they have to tell you if they're um, transgender. But there's going to come a time with the support of black woman, of course. That they're not going to have to mention it. It's because it's going to be against their rights. And then they're going to be able to sleep with any man that they want. But I know us Israelites ain't going to fall for that. Because we want natural breasts. Natural hair. Natural everything. Which the black woman also isn't giving us. Alright. So for you black women that said. F you good black men. I'll just stick with the thugs and stuff. Yeah the thugs are screwing all of y'all. Alright. And the white men. But guess what? Thugs are screwing this uh, um, this too. And white men. And gay men. Why do you think the increase in HIV is in black women only? And not black men. Because black women ain't effing with good black men. They screwing all the thugs coming out of prison. Or just running the streets. Who screwing other um, homosexuals in the butt the, an act that they learned in prison to get their come up to sell them drugs out your house alright the bad boys are giving you all the HIV and STDs 
And then woe unto the good man that gets with you. But he's protected for a minute. And I mean, there's really no good. I mean, some black woman that's listening to this, give me, give me an argument against what I am saying. Tell me that I'm wrong. Prevent video evidence to say that this isn't so, that it isn't as bad as I think it is. All right. Other than my mama's gay, I hate my mama. I hate the girls that I'm raising. I'm I hate black women. Other than that argument, put up some evidence. Show me something that black women ain't trying to be number one over their black man. That black women don't. Um, I'm saying black women are trying to be number one. They see black men as competition. That's why when they um, got that thing that they are, uh, there are more black women in college. They are the number one college enrollees. They're like, yes, there are more black women in college. They was touting that out because then they want to compete with the black man and be the black man, not um, not be a help meet for the black man um, to have the black man build for her because. Even though the black woman going to college, she ain't building crap. She still ain't learning how to build anything. Remember, her degrees are in the social sciences, education, um, criminal justice, and aesthetics, meaning cosmetology and all the rest of that stuff. All right? Um, so all the thing that deal with cosmetology and and fashion and modeling and uh, that's aesthetics all right so that's basically it so not are not only are the is the market going to be flooded um with women for the bad dudes and the white men that you you think you're going to run to because a black man ain't going to want this um, not an Israelite man or not a, a black man that want to do good. They ain't going to want this is because it's an abomination and we're going to be able to tell. So we wouldn't, we wouldn't marry that, but a white man will. And these thugs will get with that. All right. That's your new competition. And the sad part is when you have all that fake stuff on, there's no way to tell the difference between you and this so here are my final thoughts we all have a purpose that is um, b that has been given to us by the Almighty the purpose of mankind was to guard the earth and guard the commandments of Yah all right the purpose of the woman was to be a help meet for the man right and he was to be the help beat. She was to be the help meet for him or the helper for him. One, so that he can be more focused on guarding now you. Because after the fall, our job was also to guard you. He gave us dominion over you, the woman, the black woman. All right. He made us rulers over you in in genesis it says in the third chapter that and your husband shall rule over you so we have dominion over everything and we are the guard of you we guard you that's what rule over mean we guard you we guard the house and we build right but you have forsaken that kind of man all right and if you cannot get with a man from what he needs and his point of view of what he needs, then you're worthless to any man, any good man. If you come, you need to be six feet. You need to be. No, it's all about what we need you to be for us. All right. When a good black man have a good woman, it allows him to focus on building and protecting. Thing. black women absence good men become devices manipulative misled and evil black men does black women desiring bad men are evil period 
they have forsaken the Almighty and his purpose for them, which is to be a help to the good man. Period. With that said, I'm out.